What's up guys, my name is Luke from Archer Woods, Style Consultancy and pre-owned menswear store. So today we're going to start a series, hopefully weekly, where I answer your style questions. Since Instagram's sort of grown, I found it really hard to keep up with direct messages. You get so much spam, you get a ton of questions and it's impossible to get through to them, let alone actually give like a really good answer. So instead what I'm going to do is go through comments, inboxes, just to pick out some comments, ask, answer some questions in some greater detail. Hopefully you'll get something out of it. So if you do want to ask a question, drop a comment in Instagram, YouTube, DM me, or you can email us as well, hello at I may not be able to get back to you directly straight away, but I will try to answer it on here. Apologies if I do miss any, because there just there is just so much spam that comes with these bots. Before we get into it as well, do check out the website archerandwoods.com for pre owned menswear. I also, I do offer a one-on-one -on -one style consultancy session. So one-on-one, -on -one, either ad hoc hour sessions online, or in person, full sort of styling service, personal shopping, anything like that at all, check out archerandwoods.com for that. So let's get stuck into it. First question we've got from Stuart who emailed in. Hi Luke, big fan of your videos. Thank you very much. Um, was going to submit a style question but couldn't access the form you put a link to. Yeah, I did put a Google form and that just ended up not working. So apologies for that. Instead, I'm just gonna go through the inboxes and everything. Anyway. I was going to ask about this speak to your tailor advice every menswear expert dishes out. Actual tailors can be pretty hard to find. Does the seamstress at my dry cleaner who is able to make alterations count? Any tips on this side of things, particularly from a UK point of view, would make for a useful video, I reckon. All the best, Stuart. Cheers, Stuart. Good question. And yes, anyone into menswear will always refer to a tailor. It's so crucial that you find a tailor of some sort hopefully a good one. I know it can be difficult because obviously locations, even my own, I live in South East London and the one I go to is back where I used to live in East London. It takes an age, it takes an hour at least to get there. I've got items in there I need to liberate soon. They've been in there for a month and I need to pick them up. But I just haven't had the chance. Yeah, it can be tough. Also finding a good one as well, like trusting that tailor with the item, especially if, you, if it's like a sort of cherished possession of yours, something you've spend a lot of money on and then the other option he's put here about the seamstress first of all about finding a tailor word of mouth is such a good one for this if you do know someone that gets their clothes tailored in any sort of way ask them about it obviously online reviews are really important as well so check them out and I would say if you do find one that you're unsure about just send in a tester item get some get a lower cost pair of trousers in anything you're looking to have done so if it's taking up the trousers or taking up the sleeves send a tester in first see how it is and then you can be a bit more confident as it goes if you don't feel confident fully don't give them 10 items at a time just do dribs and drabs and see how it is so with regards to the seamstress the dry cleaners side of things it's possible so i've got a dry cleaners here they take up my trousers so not all alterations are created equally i over the lockdown period started learning some myself so i bought a sewing machine and i got to the point where i could take up trousers and I put either a cuff on them take up some jeans not in any sort of like real expert sort of way you could do i could do some minor repairs as well and sew on buttons that was really simple it does take a little bit of doing so it's not like the easiest side of things but a seamstress should be able to do that so taking up the trousers is the simple one maybe taking in the waistband of your trousers as well the simple as well when it comes to jacket sleeves that's harder in my experience and what i tried to do i never got the full hang of it so i referred to a tailor on this one so a seamstress should be able to do this right so trousers for sure taking them up Absolutely, it's a, it is a simple thing to do, but I would test it out. I can't speak for that particular seamstress. The jacket, let's say taking up a blazer, it's, it is harder, so I would try to find a tailor first, or if you speak to the, the owner of the dry cleaners, ask them about it, see what their experience is with it, and then again, send in a tester maybe. So yeah, I do get it is difficult to find one. I would just say for the simple stuff, try out the seamstress. If you can't do have a sort of dummy blazer or a blazer you don't care about too much, test them out, see what they come back with. If you're happy, then great. If not, the hunt for a tailor is on. And like, yeah, again, word of mouth, Google, reviews, and then test them out as well. I would still test them out for sure. I hope that helps, Stuart. I'd love to be able to give you a really simple, yes, they can definitely do this, but obviously it depends on an individual's talent level, their, how much they care about what they're doing. It is possible for them to do it if you speak. I would say speak to them first, and hopefully, you should be more confident with the choice you make. 
So the next one we've got is actually a comment I received on the video about Drake's. So I looked into the website, did a little run through of like the lookbooks and stuff. The comment is from at Mr. J3 and it's as beautiful as Drake's garments are, it's undeniable that they've hiked up prices for no reason other than to bolster the sense of brand luxury, which in my book is extremely tacky. So I'll read you my reply. I'm not sure as to why Drake's have but there are other possible explanations for price increases industry-wide recently. A lot of brands have done the same for reasons such as rising cost of materials, rent and increasing st increased staff wages due to the cost of living crisis. Again, can't be sure, but there are less nefarious reasons. So for this one, prices may or may not have gone up for Drake's recently, but it doesn't mean that's the reason why, the reason he's highlighted. So. There are many reasons why a brand might hike up their prices. I can't be, I, Drake's I think has gone up a, a bit, but especially in the UK and the way they make their clothes, like you, the mills they use, the materials they use, and they try to be as ethically green as possible. Obviously making clothes is, can never be 100% green, but they, they do use quality materials. There's a lot of craft that goes into the clothes they make. And they also have a Savile Row store. They have a New York store. So it's expensive. So that they're, they're ever-growing brands, so they've got more staff. Rents go up as well. Also possibly wage increases due to the cost of living crisis. Now, if I don't can't say for, sh for sure that any of those reasons are the reasons that Drake's may have upped their prices, but what I would say is it's likely to be maybe a mix of all of them or somewhere in the middle. And I, I don't feel as well, knowing the brand, knowing the people behind it, that they would deliberately say, look, we need to make us feel more luxury as a brand. We need to be a sort of higher end, like Laura Piana brand. So let's pump up the prices because that will do it. That feels a stretch for me. I could be wrong. My feelings are, look, if they are hiking up the prices for, say, to increase their wages or to build the business more, to pay people fairly, and they've got rent, higher rent to pay, then I think that's reasonable. If they want the right people running their stores, they might have to pay a lot of money for that. If they want the right materials, which have gone up, materials have gone up as well, then they're gonna to have to pay more. That means there's gonna be a whole chain reaction of increases all the way through their line. So I can't say for sure. I just think there's not just that one reason. Just because a brand like Drake's increases their prices doesn't mean it's just because they're being greedy. There's a lot of things to consider when brands price their clothes. But who knows what's going on behind the scenes there. Pre-owned is always an option if you feel like it's a lot of money. But again, it's down to you, it's your choice. All right, final question for today. And it is a Instagram comment. The link to ask a question doesn't seem to work. Apologies again. Yeah, drop a DM. So my question is, how should you dress when you're about 80% body, 20% legs? You've got a great channel, thank you very much. And one day I've had to fold a consultation. So great question, and there's a really simple, great answer to this, and that's higher waisted trousers. It's not the only one, but it's the quickest hit you can possibly find. Just for the simple reason that higher waisted trouser will raise your waistline up, giving you the illusion and silhouette of having longer legs. Uh, it also shorten the body as well, obviously. So you're just shifting that waistline up a little bit. A lot of guys, especially younger guys, do get a little bit put off whenever I have a consultation with someone. They don't want to look like an old man. They've got these visions in their heads of like guys with trousers up to under their nipples. It's not that kind of thing. What we're just looking at is you can go, there are various level of rises, but there are plenty of brands that do some really beautiful higher waisted trousers. You don't have to get like pleated trousers where they're all like, there's room to maneuver at the front. You can go flat, but higher waisted. And now you can get them from almost anywhere. In terms of brands for these, we've got Berg & Berg, very good. Natalino, Suit Supply do them. Reese do a fair few of them. Husbands, Paris are very good, a bit more on the prices side. Officine Generale, they're in most places now to varying degrees of rise. Pre-owned market's very good for them, so you can find some really good ones pre-owned. And so you also get them more casual as well. So brand, an American brand, Alex Mill, do some very good ones. That are a bit more like cargo panty. Jeans as well, higher rise ones for them. I bought some from Anglo-Italian the other day, higher rise jeans, I absolutely love them. You can find any sort of pairs of trousers with a higher rise now from most places. So that is the quickest win for me. Other tips, obviously, like we were saying before, going to a tailor, making sure that you've got your trousers cut to the right length, so it's not too, not too bunching and bulky, so your legs don't look even shorter. A lot of guys 
they think they've got an issue, but actually they're just not wearing their trousers or jeans in the right place. Try just pulling your jeans up, just or trousers, just that little bit more so they sit on your hips. A lot of guys, and it's probably a hangover from the sort of early 2000s and the 90s. I certainly wore some like trousers that baggy jeans and stuff that hang right nearly down my ankles. So yeah, just try hiking up just that little bit more, see them sit on your hips, see how that looks. Go in front of a full length mirror as well before you dress. I'd always have advised to have a full length mirror to when you dress. You can see your full body, silhouette, how things are looking in real time. Wear shoes when you do this as well. So get the full outfit on and just see how that looks. Then try a high rise pair of trousers. Make sure they're tailored so they're not bunching up too much and they're the right length. And if you want, you can go tonally, so you can wear like different colors of navies. It just breaks up the waistline as well. So that's another option. So anyway, guys, that's the first mailbag episode done with. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, drop a comment, DM me, email me. And if it's not a quick one to respond to, I'll put them in the video. So it'll either be a YouTube video or like a shorter version on this Instagram. Please remember to like and subscribe because it helps me grow the store and the channel and it just helps out massively. Check out archmoods.com for pre-owned menswear and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Cheers.